Now this class is going to be a lot shorter than uh, than the other panel. This panel is going to have a lot less things on it. Um, this panel is only going to contain two J labels, six buttons, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two J tables, one, two. So let's go ahead and extend panel. So we inherit all the goods coming from JPanel. Import JPanel. Add default serial, serial version ID. All right, we're going to create, again, we're going to create a, a main box, private box main box, which is going to be a vertical box. Um, it doesn't need to be a vertical box, it can be a horizontal box because we're only adding... No, actually, no, 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 sorry about that. It needs to be a vertical box. Anyways, we're going to need... So again, let me show you guys again. This is our main box. We're going to need five horizontal boxes. Horizontal box number one, H box one, H box two, H box three, H box four, H box five. And we're gonna add H box one to our main box. So H box one, main box dot add H box two, main box dot add hbox3 and so on and so forth so hbox1 and I hope you guys are understanding what the boxes are for and I was going to create a uh, uh, I was going to create a drawing using paint but I got lazy anyways um, I hope you guys uh, kind of get kind of get an idea about what boxes are and what what it is that I'm doing anyways if you don't and you know don't be discouraged if uh, just keep doing this and refer to this to uh, to this video whenever or to this code that we're writing in the future whenever you need to write a GUI for a project or whatever and really practice makes perfect you keep doing it and you're gonna get more used to it and before you know it you just know what you're doing so but for now just uh, type along with me again I said we're gonna need five horizontal boxes horizontal box number two just copy and paste this because I'm lazy it's gonna be five four three import the box again I said we needed two J labels J labels private J label JL book table JL file table these are the labels for the table We need a. Uh, we need the table. Well, first let's create the scroll pane. So private J scroll pane. And we're gonna call this. And we're gonna have two scroll panes. Y two. We're going to need two scroll panes because one scroll pane for this table and one scroll pane for the 
the files table so scroll pane book table scroll pane file table I'm sorry about that so I've been doing this uh, I've been talking in front of the computer for like an hour and 30 or an hour and 40 minutes now but we're almost done with the GUI and after we're done with the GUI we're just gonna copy and paste uh, some of the stuff in our previous project and copy and paste those methods in our controller to make our application work but for now let's focus on creating the GUI import the jscroll pane now we're gonna need the data that we're gonna put inside our tables and we're also gonna need the columns of our tables a table takes in two things it takes in the columns and the data of the table you know what's inside what is inside each cell in this case the columns for the book table is going to be title author price and serial number the data is empty for now but the data is th are these Now, the columns is just an array of strings. And we're going to initialize this array of strings to title. And uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, put it in this order. that I'm putting on right now, putting it right now. Because the ordering will matter later on. I'll show you why. So it has four columns. Our file columns Our file columns are going to have only, there's only going to be three things in our file columns. And it's going to be sound column, image column, and video column. Sounds, images, videos. Now we need to uh, add in the data. And the data is just a two-dimensional array. Now, this array is going to have an array. And don't get confused. Try not to get confused. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to call this book data and it's going to be an array it's going to be an array that has an array inside of it so this is just an array of arrays in terms of lists it's going to be a list of lists let me think of another analogy here well two dimensional array it has within the array within within this array it's gonna have another array so it's an array of arrays so inside this array I said that there's gonna be an array and there's gonna be many different arrays but for now let's just add one <coughs> 